Hi okay, guys, so it is March the 9th, Thursday, March the 9th in 2023. Um, I am in the Sandwell town of Wensbury and as you can see, extreme weather has had a massive impact on the environment today. You've got roofs covered in snow and you've got the ground covered in snow and ice as well. So in paper one, they're likely to ask you about the impacts of extreme weather in the UK. And they will likely ask you in terms of either social to do with people, economic to do with money, or environment to do with the natural world. So if we, if we start off with the social impacts. Now, I'm at home today, I have been to work, uh, but I am stuck at home. Now the journeys uh, on the roads were not the most pleasant um, and this is because of the snow on the roads. And I saw two accidents on the way home. So already uh, we, we can see the social impact there. Unfortunately, today some people will, will die prematurely because of this cold weather. Whether it be that, you know, it could have been a car accident or something. Or maybe just the cold. They maybe not got the... Um, money to put the heating on warm enough, the cold will kill people off, which is really, really unfortunate. So that's a massive social challenge. What about the economic challenge? So fortunately, you guys as students in the UK, living in a high income country, we've got access to super fast broadband. So you will still be able to uh, get your education today in your live lessons. However, what about the local shop who's not had its delivery of bread? Straight away, they're losing money because they can't, you know, sell their bread to the customers. The delivery driver who's stuck in traffic, all right, he may well still get paid. But what about the person who employs him? All right, his employer is going to cost him more money, isn't it? Because he's paying for him to be in the truck or lorry for longer. And he's not making any profit. Uh, and... Any any business really that has had to shut today is going to be losing an awful lot of money. So massive economic challenges. Um, international flights will probably be grounded. So again, people at the airport, maybe if these international business deals not being done, it's going to cause environmental challenge, uh, economic challenges. In terms of the environment, well, obviously the everywhere is covered with snow. Uh, can't be particularly uh, nice for the animals living out there. So there is massive environmental challenges. But consider people's, you know, use of fossil fuels at this time. My boiler uh, is on constantly today, uh, burning gas to keep my house warm. And this is going to be the picture nationally. So carbon dioxide emissions are going to increase rapidly today. So there's an environmental impact. If you look here, I've just on Google, just done a quick search. I've just put Snow UK. And as you can see, there are a wide range of news stories reporting on this extreme weather. So here, level three alert issued. So that's suggesting that there's a threat to life and it's, you know, dangerous outside. We have got snow, in, uh, snow latest. There's Met Office warnings in place. Britain braces for blizzard conditions, all schools closed today. So as a result of this extreme weather, you know, the news outlets are taking advantage of this to get people clicking onto their stories. So it's a big deal. Loads and loads of news stories about the extreme weather in the UK. Here's my trusty boiler. Um, probably should give my boiler a name. Um, I don't know, Cyril, Cyril the boiler. Now, if you listen to it, that noise is the sound of the boiler working. Ultimately, what it's doing is burning gas to heat water up, which is then pumped around my house to keep me and my family warm. All right? Economic costs, well, it costs a lot of money to burn gas, especially with current prices of energy and the environmental cost. That is ultimately an exhaust. And what that's doing is once the gas is combusted, it is sending out all the nasty chemicals such as carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. So this one day, or we don't know how long it's going to be, but this day of extreme weather has a massive environmental impact. Now I've talked about all the social, economic and environmental challenges, but I suppose there are some opportunities. 
this is a view outside um, the back of my house and the back of my garden already. If you look in the distance, you can see somebody's already built a massive snowball. So I suppose there's social opportunities, kids having fun. Um, I'm sure we will see kids sledging down the hills a bit later on, which is uh, always a good social opportunity. Local businesses selling sleighs, um, shovel, snow shovel, grit, all right, are also probably going to see a boom. So there's some economic opportunities there. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful landscape there.